Comet Atlas latest news. The image shows two fragments of Comet Atlas, Comet Y4, tracing towards our Sun. Now we know that this was recently discovered, December 19th of 2019. And this is what it looks like basically now. This is the latest images. You can see that it's fragmented into pieces. And as we said before, this comet had a trajectory of anywhere between 4.6 thousand to 6 thousand years, meaning that last time it came by Earth was around the time of the ancient pharaohs of ancient Egypt. Now, it's fragmenting what they're saying. This is not the only comet coming at us. It will be at us around May 23rd, and it will be at the Sun May 31st. We can see it now with binoculars and telescopes on the northwest sky. And uh, we have another at, uh, comet coming at us, which was just recently uh, found, April 11th, Comet Swan. Comet Atlas is called Atlas because it was discovered by the Atlas telescopes. Comet Swan was discovered by the Swan telescope. That's the name Comet Swan. It's another comet coming just about the same time as Atlas, right behind Atlas. It will be at Earth crossing. We'll be able to see it, they say, around the, um, towards the end, the same time as we're going to be seeing Atlas. We're going to be seeing Swan. And that one we can perhaps see with our naked eye. We won't need binoculars around the, uh, uh, towards the end of May as well. So we have two comets coming in. Atlas, which is now fragmenting, racing towards the sun. As we said, you can see it in the sky. It will be closest to Earth on March 23rd, sorry, May 23rd, and uh, towards the sun May a week later, May 31st. And uh, from what I, they don't really know the exact size of it, but the size of the tail is twice the size of the sun and uh, it's going very fast now this uh, this latest concerning what astronomers have found they've uh, shown us that the fragments of comet atlas are racing towards the sun these we know the tail is an icy body and is fragmenting as it's uh, journeying through our solar system and uh, the uh, amateur astronomers or space enthusiasts sky watchers have been keeping an eye on Comet Atlas this year as it made its way through our solar system. Comet Atlas, known as C219Y4, nicknamed Atlas because it was discovered by the Telescope Array System of the same name. And it was first discovered, as we said, December 19th, 2019, stunned by uh, sunning the astro astronomy community heading towards the sun. Now, after more than uh, then this traveling, the comet has only just made its way past Mars. Astronomers have confirmed it is falling apart, it's fragmenting, it's breaking apart, bringing an end to its voyage, but the pieces are pretty big. Now one of them was uh, 3,400 kilometers, so you can understand how big that piece was. It's been hoped that the comet would hold out until it got closer to the sun, and then, then uh, that it would be uh, visible in the night sky as much as Venus is, which looks like a bright star, astronomers believe it was crumbling apart because its brightness began to dip, suggesting it was not as big as first thought. Now the photographers of the astronomical uh, agencies, the telescopes, one of them being Jose de Quieros and Michael Dehrler. Michael Dehrler's um, image is what we see here, this beautiful image of the uh, fragmentation of the comet into pieces you can see here that's his image so the uh, website space weather amateur astronomers taking closer looks at the uh, comet's core seeing two nearly identical fragments that are racing towards the sun mr dayler said we use the observatory's 90 centimeters remote control telescope with an sbig stl 11000 camera he says we have been monitoring the comet with this large public telescope since early April. And uh, the images show the beginning of Atlas breaking up April 1st, followed by more fragmentation April 11, 14, and 15. Now, astronomers believe the comet is running out of gas as it's breaking up, and it will soon completely disintegrate into nothingness. Space Weather says the disintegrating nucleus seems to be exhausting its stores of gas and dust very rapidly, 
and indeed the comet may not survive much longer, they said. Not to worry, though, because a new comet has just been discovered April 11th, which is due to make its way by Earth's orbit and the inner planets of Mercury and Venus, and that is the comet Swan. Swan was discovered April 11. It's, uh, Swan is C 2020 F8. 2020 meaning was discovered this year. It was discovered on April 11, and like Atlas, uh, was meant to and will arrive at the orbit of Mercury in late May. So you can understand this, basically one after the other. The comet was first discovered by Michael Mattiazzo of Swan Hill, Victoria, Australia, when he was analyzing data from the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory SOHO SWAN instrument, hence the name for the comet, Comet SWAN. SWAN's job is to scan the solar system for hydrogen, so for it to see the comet suggests Comet SWAN is now emitting a lot of hydrogen right now at the moment as it's uh, coming in towards us. So this is uh, the latest news on Comet Atlas and Comet SWAN. Uh, by Sean Martin and uh, on Express UK and Space Weather. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.